My guests today are Courtney Eden and hello, Courtney, Hi. and oh. and, <laughs> and Gabrielle Simph. Welcome, guys. Thank hello. you. Thank you. I know we're here at the Kalahari in uh, Sandusky, Ohio, and you guys are doing what? We are running Codes Kids Mash. Um, it's a conference within Code Mash, just for kids and their families. What is Kids Mash? So KidsMash is a free conference for the children of attendees of CodeMash that is gifted to those families. It's a completely free conference. We usually end up with 500 to 600 children, 300 to 400 adults coming through our program from Tuesday through Friday. 500 to 600 children. I, I was just talking to Jim Holmes, who was the original organizer of CodeMash. <laughs> And he told me the code mash, the first code mash, the total attendance was 240 people. Wow. You're, I didn't know you're that. You're double 240, the yeah. total attendance just in the kids here. He has told me before that my little portion, our little portion mm -hmm. of the conference is now bigger than the first conference far, that he threw. Like. <laughs> and he's thrilled by that, which makes yeah. me feel, uh, that makes me feel proud to hear mm -hmm. Jim say that he is thrilled with how well it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me some, about the, some of the things you do for the kids at this conference. It's not just a kids' conference, it's a kids' tech conference. It is. We do try to focus on STEM-oriented learning. Um, at this point, we run 16 one-hour sessions. We run six two-hour sessions for the age groups 12 to 17 specifically. We have a maker's space now where we run probably 9 to 11 projects through during the week. Um, which is a lot of fun, everything from popsicle catapults to brush bots to microscopes to a bunch of different robots we have. Smelly science. Smelly mm -hmm. science, which is a lot of fun. The kids love to eat gumdrops. Mm -hmm. And then we have... Well, tell me about the smelly science. Oh, smelly science is, you, you know, if you hold your nose and you put a gumdrop in your mouth, you really can't taste it, right? Okay. And then you tell them to take their fingers off their nose and all of a sudden they can taste all the flavors in it. Uh -huh. And of course, we don't tell them what the flavors oh, are. Okay. So you never know what you're going to get. It's like the or spice yeah. drops yep. too, mm -hmm. <laughs> right. which makes it mm -hmm. fun. Then there's our favorite space, which is hangouts. Oh, hangouts. What's that? Hangouts is a place that um, just for families to gather, especially with littles. Um, it's got coloring books and books and puzzles and games. Boxes. And, and our favorite thing is the boxes. So boxes. we use the boxes from the sweatshirts that um, that the conference gives out. Like, like this one? Like this one right here. And as soon as they empty a box, they bring it to us, and uh -huh. we just throw them in hangouts. And the kids, like today, I got them um, Kung Fu Panda panning the um, boxes like they, they, were, or they make the box into something else oh yeah and they've yeah. made castles and they just um, destroy them too but um, <laughs> but it's cheap <laughs> and yeah. the kids love them it doesn't cost us anything um, for them to come and enjoy a couple hours and hang out so it's a great way for moms that have never been here before and that's how it all started that's how I met Gabrielle yeah. um, is in hangouts um, just another mom to sit and go to lunch with or to go to the water park with mm -hmm. it's just a nice place to hang out that is cool. Tell, what are some of the other sessions you have? Some of the other sessions that we've done this year is we had, or actually the session that was in this room before we got here was how to create a Discord bot, which was actually run by a kid. So that's another focus that- I don't know what that is, Discord bot. Discord bot, it, it, you know what, talk to your kids about it. That's what I know about it. My okay. kid uses it to talk to all his friends. So well, I think it's, other it's their version of, oh, I don't know, Hangouts or Skype. So it's a, it's a chat <coughs> uh, yes. for gamers. Yes, yes, yep. And okay. so, but it was a kid teaching 16 kids how to create this bot. Um, some other things that we've had this year have been um, electricity. It was called Wizardry 101. Static electricity. Yep. And so they got wands and they got to mess with them, um, getting the electricity built up in it, and they moved cans with them. Oh, cool. They moved um, aluminum foil and they um, water, you know, with uh -huh. the electricity. It's, uh -huh. We had 107 kids in that session alone. And not only could you hear the speaker, they were all engaged. It was awesome. That it would was, be cool. It was so fantastic. They, they had to yell expelliamus. They did. And as soon like as they that, left that, um, <laughs> that, wizard Harry. that session, yeah. um, sp specifically, they were in the other. You saw them in the hallway doing that, and you uh -huh. saw them in hangouts. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, Gabrielle, you said that uh, the last session was taught by a kid. Yes. Is that, is that typical? It, it's 
It is fairly typical. So I would say cool. maybe about, especially with our one hour sessions, because uh -huh. it's a starter place for okay. people to learn how to present, that maybe half of ours end up being done by a parent with their child or where the child ends up just doing the entire session. For me, that's amazing. We're uh, growing our next generation of technologists to do things like continue the tradition of Code Mash. Uh -huh. And, you know, this is Code Mash's 14th year. Yeah. I haven't been to all of them. I know Courtney. I've been to 13 of the 14. I've, I've been to 13 as well. I, I think the I've first been one. to 12. Um, and I have a 14 year old and I have a nine year old. Are they attending this? They are attending this. My 14 year old is actually an intern and is helping out. He's running my makerspace this year most of the time with her my son. My 16 year old. He's yeah. bigger and than you now. He is, yes. And he's been here since he was two. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and uh, Julie's son. Mm -hmm. So we have them growing up into the space. Uh, we do, we're very fortunate now. I've been running Kids Mash now for six years. Uh -huh. That's crazy. It doesn't seem that long. No, we've grown it quite a bit to the point where we actually get to do a call for papers and we get presenters who become fully ticketed Code Mash speakers. And I'm, I use this word so much, but I am yet again so grateful to Code Mash for treating this free gift to the community uh -huh. so well. I mean, they fu they fully treat our speakers as regular speakers at the conference. Mm -hmm. They get all the speaker benefits, so we get really great content, whether it's coming from adults or it's coming from kids. Yeah, I, I know for a fact that they are so also grateful to you for the time you're volunteering to make this happen. I, I, I hope so. I, I hope they're I'm not tired of else, me. But not I, unfairly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I, I really. To me, you know, my family has been in the technical community in Columbus for a very, very long time and in Ohio. And my husband and I have a technology company. And this is our way of giving back to this community that has helped us be at the place that we are. And they're amazing. The, the, even before my speakers were fully ticketed and fully acknowledged, the people who would just offer up their time to do this, to do what I'm doing, is just give back to the community, is just amazing. So anything that I can do to keep this intact, I will do. That's awesome. And by the way, you're, you're just to promote, your <coughs> husband has been on my show, and so has your husband. Mm -hmm. And they're, uh, this is just between us, but they're pretty awesome. Too, so. <laughs> well, we just, think so. Just no, between just us. Between us. Yeah, just doesn't be leave careful. We have to go home with them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, appreciate that's that. our secret. Okay, that works. You asked about um, some of the sessions we have, and I um, wanted to shout, give a shout out to one specifically. There is a family, um, the Cultures, they have um, their kids, um, three of them, that did a session for us on calling all space, calling all space cadets and what's it oh. like to be an astronaut in space. Oh, wow. Yep, it was, and they presented the entire thing by themselves, um, and it was fantastic. And at the end, they gave each of the kids a um, ice cream sandwich, a dehydrated ice cream sandwich oh, like yeah. they would eat on space. Very it was cool. very cool. It was neat. Yep. Tell me how Co Kids Mash got started. Um, Go Kids ahead. Mash got started, again, I was here, um, the second year, mm -hmm. and it started just, um, I ran into another mom, uh -huh. um, Melissa so, Insko. So year two, there was no Kids Mash? Nope, there was no Kids Mash at all. And we just, again, just got together and said, as we're in the halls, you mm -hmm. know, with our little kids, and um, hey, our husbands are in sessions, um, would you like to go to lunch, you know? Or how about we go hang out at the water park for the okay. afternoon? And then it, the next year it started, um, let's, how about a story time? You know, how about we get together and do a story time? And mm -hmm. and we were given a room. Lisa Ensko was yeah. given, yeah, give uh, gave us a room to go in the evening and said, okay, at story time, you know, everybody come and bring your kid and we'll That's read cool. him a story and or a little art projects. And it grew from the hallway to a room in the hotel to a room in the main hallway, and which is where Hangouts is today. Of, part of the conference center right here. Yep. Okay, and full credit, Melissa did an excellent job. Uh, of just Melissa, is Melissa Insko. So okay. she she's the one who went to Jim and they talked and, and she Holmes. got the room. Mm -hmm. Jim Holmes, yes. And got the room and started it all and would just ask people, hey, eventually, can you come and talk for an oh, hour? Okay. Can you do that? And then eventually she was doing that for two days out of the week. Mm -hmm. And then at one point, you know, Brian Prince came along and said, Hey, I want to go to four. 
that was difficult for her, given her job and this, that, and the right. other. And by this time, there was this core group of us who would just help out. Mm -hmm. And I was one of those people. I come along a little bit later, mm -hmm. but I, you know, and I had a five-year-old and a three-year-old. And Brian Prince came to me and said, "Hey, would you be willing to make this a bigger part of conference and go to four days, and do sessions every day?" And I said yes. And That's so, awesome. so then we grew from one room to two rooms to three rooms, and we are now in four rooms. Um, and for four days. And for four days, and we cannot grow anymore <laughs> because we have no more rooms. Well, no. They, they, you know, they actually expanded the conference center once. For yes. Code Mesh, yep, and um, we just again. we just have um, no more room to expand, uh -huh. um, and we fill the rooms, especially starting um, when the main conference starts on Thursday. Like I said, we had 107 kids in a in a session this morning. That's cool. Um, it is just amazing to see. And it uh, it started as a grassroots thing. By the time Brian actually asked you to be part of it, it had already had all that traction, all that momentum. Yeah, it had just, a just lot of sort momentum. Of from the up. But then that that push to saying we're going from two to four days. That was a big deal. Yeah, and now you're yeah. committing an entire week, basically. Yeah, right? your mm -hmm. time. committing an entire week. And we, it's a very interesting um, fluctuation of kids because a lot of kids are back in school. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we get a lot of littles for this conference, and so you have to kind of cater them, but you also want to remember everybody else. Right. So that's partially why over time, I mean, we've always tried to pick in our 16 mm -hmm. one-hour sessions something, things that will relate to all age groups. Okay. So, you know, there might be some that are for littles and some are for the older kids, but we wanted to add in something where people could really get into the information. And we added these two hour dives with their blessing in this other room uh -huh. so that we could start ke keeping them engaged as they get older. Yeah, one thing that's nice about uh, Code Mash, I've, no, I, I've been coming since year two as well. So uh, it's always been a family friendly event, even when yes. there wasn't a, a, this giant kids mash thing going on because giant. a lot a lot of developers that attend the conference they have a spouse they have a family they have kids and there's a water park in the building so it makes sense to bring your family along and this is sort of just makes makes it more fun for the family i think but there's only so much chlorine you can intake right. there's like an <laughs> annual dose so that's why we we try to give them some other options i'm gonna get right. my annual dose tonight right. about one hour so. that's right and, and to speak to that i think um it was after the first one specifically Specifically, my husband called me during the conference and said, "Okay, this is the very first year. You should next year you'll be here because it is a water park, and there was yeah. so at the time they had pottery and the arcade and so much more for families yeah. um, to come. And if your room was already paid for as your um, the speaker or attendee, why not bring your family? Mm -hmm. um, and that was um, an amazing thing for us—a little mini vacation um, that was already taken care of. You know, it was awesome. Nice. Yeah. Are, have you ever had?" Um kids that kind of graduate from this to become either attendees or speakers at the main code mash conference yeah we've we're starting to see that uh -huh. you know this is the 16th year so so we're working on it a uh -huh. little bit but you know once again you know like with our kids they grew up through kids smash and now they're interns we're not the only ones like you said this is a family affair uh -huh. there's a lot of nepotism i'm not it's true <laughs> i mean <laughs> there are volunteers somewhere. Right. yeah there are lots of us who have volunteered or spoken or you know whatever with other community who our kids are now working here in some fashion or helping run 3d printing or or whatever that needs to be happening. So we really do. That's nice. Code Mash is a family. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is, and they believe in families. Yeah. Uh, do you have any plans to do anything different next year, or is is this pretty much baked in terms of? We haven't finished this year. <laughs> um, well, what's new this year that wasn't around last year? More staff. <laughs> More, more staff. staff. Is that better? It is. is better? Um, more staff well. is, is tremendous. Um, just breaking down rooms in between sessions and um, things like that. And not us three or four running around like crazy people. Um, <laughs> not only do we have our own staff, but we've been given an intern from Code Mesh um, staff as well. Uh -huh. um, it's just that really helps. We call them as well. minions. Yeah, we do. Yeah, <laughs> we or cogs. Yeah. Cogs. Yeah. yeah, which is part of the logo, which yeah. is nice. We <laughs> like call it. so they, they, it doesn't sound diminutive. We call them the crew of greatness. Yeah. So they're cogs, <laughs> right? Yes. And then we call them by number. They don't need names. Yeah. Is the it joke. takes three years number. for them to get a name. Yes. Pure Brian. Yeah. Pure Brian Prince. So now this year, one of the changes we did last year, we kind of rolled out dives. We only did 
did a few of them and this year we did a bunch more and we might be doing more next year we'll see the other um, I, I don't see a huge amount of changes for us right this minute mostly because we're out of space mm -hmm. yeah um, and that's okay. That's mm -hmm. okay. Because this is still about code mash, and we, we're just lucky to get to do the fun stuff that we get to do and have a bunch of fun for four days. All right. Well, Code Mash, I know you can find out information at codemash.org. Yes. Is that the spot where you find out about Kids Mash, too? Is right. Oh. Yeah. You can go to codemash.org and usually find a link off it. It's codemash.org slash kids mash. Okay. Well, there's so, kids with a Z. K I D Z. I that was inherited long ago. I don't know why that was a I'm thing. I'm not sure why she did that. No, it's more fun. I don't either. It is, but like every time. Like Dragon Balls. It's, I will be writing normal emails to people in type makers with a Z <laughs> or kids with a Z and be like, oh my gosh, these people are going to think I don't know how to spell. <laughs> it's okay. That's cool. Uh, is there anything we haven't talked about that we should? I don't think so. I think that. I, hopefully we've brought across how much fun we have doing this uh -huh. and how much fun the kids are having and how much fun the kids are having and you know we do our best to organize the chaos <laughs> and to spread it out a little bit Organize chaos I like it. yeah that's the best you can do right? I do have one at the end of the conference before um, the code mash does their final closing kids mass also has a closing that we do tell me about that so we bring um, we have all the kids meet in the big auditory in the big what's it called the ballroom, ballroom. And um, we get up on stage and um, talk to the kids and tell them what a great time we've had all week. And uh -huh. we have um, a show that we do. Um, we've had a magician come in. We've oh, had yeah. um, Kosai come, come in. Mm -hmm. And at the very end, we do a big group pictures uh -huh. of all the Kids Mash staff and all the kids that have attended Kids Mash. Oh, you need a wide angle lens for oh, that. Oh, it is year. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm always sad you don't, you don't get everybody in the picture. Uh, and mm -hmm. there's always li little littles. I always look for the littlest Kids Masher every uh -huh. year to find them. We just sit on our laps. But yeah. you know what? That, that really epitomizes to me the con is that we get everybody up there for a big family photo shoot. Uh -huh. You're right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, it's fun to look at it. Um, year to year. Yeah, it is. Like right now on our um, Facebook page is last year's picture. Cool. Um, and it's, yep, it's just very cool to see that. Yep. Uh, so this is day three of a four-day event, mm -hmm. and then uh, day five, what are you guys going to do? Um, go, go home, home and home. crash. crash. Right. <laughs> do a week's worth of laundry right, yep. and fall asleep. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much for this interview and thank for you. what you're doing with Kids Thank Mesh. you for having thank us. Thank you, It, um, it is because of this technology conference, Code Mash, that has turned into Kids Mash that I have um, such a great friend in Gabrielle Sump. And without this conference, I wouldn't have known that. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>